All right, let's make this video short, sweet, quick, to the point. I got two different line boys here. They're both the same exact engine though. They're both a six and a half horsepower commercial grade engine. This one's called a Silver Pro because it's got a steel stamped deck. It does still have the rear drive, the self-propel. Same with this one, we got self-propel. Some of them have the speeds, the one, two, three speed. I've got a deck over in this, I'm not gonna show it to you, that has got that. I prefer just the single speed, just pull the lever and go. I'm not switching speeds. Uh, this one has the regular wheels, and this one has the ball bearing wheels. Nothing's different about the rears as far as I know. Quick little tip on this one. They've got little grease zerts on here. As far as I know, uh, I was gonna say the plastic ones don't, but the metal ones have the grease zerts in the front as well. I'm talking about that little grease nipple. If you've got self-propelled, even the Silver Pro has it in the back. So this one wasn't wanting to go backwards without sticking until I greased it. So keep up with grease on those. The biggest difference on these is I modified this one. This was not originally a uh, commercial series. I put this commercial shroud on it. I, I put that commercial tank on it, which is about a gallon. The biggest improvement, of course, is this massive expansion chamber muffler. I took it off of a, uh, I think Suzuki 125, something like that and uh, I custom fit it. This front cone was off a of KTM and the back cone was off a different bike and I custom fit it all the way around and wrapped it around on a tailpipe and I just put this little deep well extension with a couple washers to space it up and uh, it works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. It definitely makes more power. Uh, that's not the only thing I had to do. I had to tune the carburetor as well. In the carburetor, I had to get this uh, drill bit kit. It's uh, wire drill bits, and I had to ever so slightly punch out the holes in the jets in the carburetor with this. There was a, a side jet and a main jet that I had to punch out. Now everyone wants to know what it sounds like. What's the difference? How does it cut? Well, let's start by starting it up. This one here, it's definitely, definitely saucy. It's got a dirt bike feel to it. Let's get this thing pulled.
All right, let's try that same thing with the other mower now. 